Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to my very first YouTube videos. My name is Tam and in today's video I will be taking you guys behind the scenes to a bikini photo shoot. So I'm going to show you guys some of the settings that I use and also some tips and tricks that you can use to better your photography. Now with that said, let's get to it. So the setup that I have today is a Sony a7 III, a 35mm f1.4, uh, an 85 f1.2. For my lighting stuff, I'm using a 47-inch octobox and three speed lights. So I have uh, all three flashes at one fourth power uh, with high speed sinks on for the, for the entire shoot. The high speed sinks allow me to underexpose the background while being able to shoot at a really shallow depth of field. Uh, the tip to getting perfect exposure with flash outdoor is that you should expose for the scenes without flash first, get it to where your liking is, and then you, you can add the flash and then modify the power accordingly. So I really like how the color of a swimsuit goes against the color of the dirt. So I had the model lean against the side of the cliff and I had the light in front of her body. And I told her to turn her face towards me, which gives me uh, this beautiful light that really brings out all the features on her face. Now notice how I don't place the light in front of her because when you do that, it really, it makes the model appear flat and, and flattering. And so by placing the light on her side and having her face turned toward it, it's gonna make her look more flattering. Now the one mistake that I made here is that I had her lean on her back too much. You should always tell the model to lean on their butt and then bring the chest forward so that the hip is further away from the camera because whatever's closest to the camera is gonna appear bigger. Now I could have shot the whole shoot at 80 ISO, which is the lowest ISO that the A7 III can go to. But I was too caught up with the whole shoot and I forgot to lower the, the ISO. So for this next shot, I had her leaned up straight and by placing the light on her side at around a 30 degree angle, I'm able to capture this shot. So I want to try a different perspective and I climb on top of the dirt and I shot down with my 85. So for this first shot, I didn't like the left arm look in the, in the photo. So I told the model to just try out different arm placement to see where, what we can come up with. And now this last shot really nailed it because the expression on her face. Now, even though it was really cloudy that day, um, I just told the model to, hey, just, just frown like it's like it's 90 degrees outside and the sun is glaring in your face. And so that expression right there is what really makes this photo my favorite shot. Now for this shot, the model brought a white swimsuit cover, so we just wanted to play around with it to see what we can come up with. Now I wanted a higher bird eye view angle, so I went all the way to the top of the cliff and then shot that with my 85. It was a little bit scary because the Sigma 85 is really heavy, and luckily I didn't drop the camera on the model. So no one was hurt in the making of this photo. Now I started to use my 85 for the rest of the shoot and these are some of the shots that I got with it. Now I had the model change it to her red swimsuit and I placed her along the edge of a crack. Um, and then by placing the light on her side, I was able to create this beautiful shadow that really, that really separate her from the, the dirt background. Now one tip when it comes to posing the female body is to uh, pose them like an S shape. Notice how her body is shaped like a letter S in this photo. I had the model sit down on a lock for this photo. Now the one mistake that I made here is that I should have had her, on, her right arm connected to her left arm to create a triangle that would lead the viewer's eyes to her face. Now that would have been a better pose. I fixed that problem in this shot however. And, and you can see that she's shaped like a triangle here. Now I wanted some more greenery in the background to complement the red suit. So I placed her next to this uh, green thingy here. I, I, I'm not sure what it is. If you guys do, let me know in the comment section below. Here's another shot. Oh, and I fixed that problem from the last time as well. I had her hip in the back and her chest leaning forward now. So you can see guys, you're not going to always get it right the first time, but as long as you keep learning from, from your mistakes and other people's mistakes, you're going to become a better photographer. 
Now, uh, now there was still not enough green for me in the last shot, so I took her to this patch of uh, seagrass. I, I don't know. Again, I don't know what it is, but I had to lean close, super close to it, and I shot it from a uh, bird eye view uh, angle, and I got this shot. Up, oh, and here's the last photo of the day. All right guys, that was it for today's photo shoot. Here are the four lessons that we learned in this video. Now the first lesson when it comes to using off-camera flash is you should always expose for the scene without the flash and then add the flash to it and then modify the power accordingly. Now the second lesson is that when you use off-camera flash, you should never put the flash in front of the model. That makes the model appear flat and unflattering. What you should do is place a light to the side of the model and if you're pushing a female body, have the body turn away from the light and then have her face turn towards the light. Now if you're posing a, a male body, you want to make them look broader, more masculine. So you want to turn their body facing the light and then have the, the face turn away from the light so you get that half split lighting on their face. Now the third lesson is the hip placement. When you pose the model, you want to make the hip appear thinner. So whatever is away from the camera, it's going to look smaller and whatever is close to the camera is going to look bigger. Hey guys, last lesson, lesson number four, uh, is that you should always try to have some sort of expression on your model's face. Now whether it's frowning, smiling, spontaneously being funny, you should always try to aim to have something in your photos. Alright guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the content that I'm putting out. I hope the tips and tricks that I, I'm providing can help you guys be a better photographer. And be sure to follow the model in this video. Her name is Agatha. She did an amazing job with Nicole. Her Instagram profile will be in the link description below. And with that said, I will see you guys in the next video. Now the first lesson... Nah, the lesson... The first lesson...